what's going on everybody today is an exciting video because you guys get to see me play in one of the longest and most intense games of my entire life so i hope you're ready for this video today because it is a doozy we are talking about an azorius control list cue the intro let's talk about it what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel and thank you so much for clicking on today's video as you can tell, hopefully my voice is finally starting to come back and I'm super excited about it. And I'm also really excited about today's list. Today's list we call the value train because it has value on top of value. What I mean by that is it has life gain, it has card draw, it has the ability to play your cards in the foretell slot, it has extra turns. This thing never stops gaining value and uh, with great value comes great responsibility and that responsibility is i'm going to tell you straight up that this is some of the longest games you're ever going to play every game you play with this list is probably going to feel like close to a century and it is what it is it's just how the deck works unfortunately but it is really really fun and it and it caused one of the most ex i mean to me one of the most exciting thrilling games i've ever been in because there was a lot on the line there was 30 minutes worth of video on the line and I'm not going to tell you what happened, but it was pretty awesome. Uh, before I dive in and talk about the list in full, as always, if you're not already subscribed to the channel and you find any value in today's video or you just like hanging out with us today, I'd really appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button. We're on the road to 5,000. Hopefully by the end of the year, I'd really appreciate it if we can hit that goal. That would be amazing. And uh, if we can get this thing to 200 likes, you guys have been absolutely smashing the like button for me lately. Every time I give you guys a goal, you guys knock it out of the park. So let's shoot for 200 this time around. And with that being said... Let's talk about the list. All right. <clears throat> so I wanted to make an Azorius list today, and I wanted to make it around this card right here. Sigarda's Splendor. Well, what does this card say? Well, basically for four mana, you're going to get down an enchantment that really does nothing when it comes into the battlefield. It is what it is. But whenever you start playing cards of the um, Plains variety, any sort of white spell, you get to gain one life every single time you cast a white spell. But also you take note of your life total every turn so say let's you have 20 life total on your turn that you play this card if on the next turn at the start of your upkeep you still have 20 life or more you're going to draw an extra card for that upkeep so this thing is going to draw us an incredible amount of cards like this thing is going to be spitting out cards for us left and right and it really is an amazing incredible list or, or card and i didn't want to make the same kind of list most people run this card with they typically like to run this with a cleric's life gain you know, uh, Selesnia life gain, those types of things. I'm running in a control shell today, and I, I really, really like how it felt. So I'm very happy with this card. Um, we also have Leer as a way to win the game. Leer is going to be a two of in this list. It's going to be able to bring back all of our instant sorcery spells to play as flashback, which is pretty sweet. Um, and I did actually go with a card I typically wouldn't put in here, and that's you find the villain's lair. Um, I typically don't like running counter spells with Leer, but today we're going to be trying to cycle through our deck at the same time, putting things into the graveyard that we can use later and gain value that way as well. So it's actually a pretty good early game counter spell. And at the same time, if you don't end up using it to counter, you can still fill your graveyard with a bunch of things Leer can cast later down the road. So that's why that is in here. Um, some other really cool valuable uh, value cards in here are going to be Sunset Revelry. It's a really great matchup for those aggro lists. We have four of. It's going to gain us life, which obviously triggers, you know, the Splendor. It's also going to gain us life just because it's the white card. And then also it creates humans, yada, 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 draws you cards. There's a lot of value in this card here, especially when you're running against aggro. We have Faithful Mending, which does the same sort of thing as the Villain's Lair. It's going to cycle cards into our graveyard that we can get back later with Flashback. Helps us get to, uh, you know, the more important cards on our list discarding the cards that we don't need for specific matchups and it also gains us life would you look at that and then we've also got three divide by zeros which access uh, you know a sideboard for us we'll get to that later we've also got three inscription of insight one of my favorite blue cards we've run this in a lot of our you know simic ramp type decks and uh in this particular list i think it works really really well because it's a great card and a sorcery spot that you know can be brought back with uh leer it's a very, very cool card to just disrupt an opponent, especially on aggro, because we have to bounce two other creatures. Uh, we've also got one copy of Starnheim Unleashed to try to go over the top and win the game with as well later down the road. We've also got a full play set of Doom Scars, because obviously aggro you know, needs a couple Doom Scars in the deck to keep you alive. And then three all runs Epiphanies for the over the top 
kill them, get them dead, finish the game out strong. You know how that card goes. Basically, it's the best card in the set, so <laughs> or in this entire format at the moment. We've also got four Fading Hopes to protect our own Leer, as well as Bounce Tokens, and two Jawara Disruptions. The lands, we have two uh, Field of Ruins and two Hall of the Storm Giants. And lastly, our sideboard, we've got two environmental sciences, two reduced to memory, two teachings, and a mascot exhibition. I would honestly up that to a couple of mascot exhibitions if I were you guys, but I don't have them. Don't really feel like using my one mythic wild card for a mascot exhibition, you know, but it's okay. Uh, I digress because we got to get into these gameplay footages because today's a long video as far as the games go. There's not a lot of games, but there's a lot of game footage. I hope you guys enjoy, enjoy the misplays, enjoy the mayhem. And uh, I hope you guys have fun today and we'll see you guys back here at the end for some final thoughts and how we thought the deck performed and what maybe we would change out. So we'll see you guys there. Peace. All right, here we go. Let the value train begin. We have a banger of a list for you guys today, man. This list is going to be fire. Uh, my voice is kind of coming back too, which is nice. I get to go first. What a weird, weird hand here. But I suppose because everything's pretty much blue, I can keep it. What an odd little situation to be in though with this hand. I think it's a good keep though. We have the villain's layer, which can sort things out for us, which is kind of nice. Another just Jawari goes down. We're up against mono white. So we're going to need to find a doom scar and we're going to need it pretty quickly. Um, again, villain's layer, sort out our hand a little bit. Hopefully find us some white mana. All right, they play the adversary. Turn two. That's kind of good, though. Let's see if there's any world where we're going to play the Fading Hope. There might be. There might be. I doubt it, but I, there's a chance. There is a chance. No, I think we take it. I don't think we have the luxury to play the Fading Hope here just because we have to count on the Arena client to actually give us a top deck of land. And uh, I don't think that's going to happen. We get our Doom Scar, but where the heck is our land? Where in the world is our land? Wow. Holy cow. It is going to be one of those days, huh? Okay. So be it. Uh, we have we start the we start the game with three lands, and uh, you know, twelve cards in. Still no no extra land here. So not good, my friend. Not good at all. Are they gonna pump this? Or are they gonna play a second spell to activate Clarion? They go for the pump, which means it's got to go back to the hand. Holy Toledo! That is not the card I want to see. Where's our white mana? <laughs> white mana please thank goodness thank goodness we draw a card we get a couple of blockers yes okay feeling good now we're in this game now we're in this game we were we were so far out of the game a moment ago but now we're back now we're back thank goodness they can't attack with the advisory this turn though still so or the adversary because we have the blocker in front of it still Okay, now they can. <laughs> they say, screw that noise. We're attacking, fool. All right, fair enough. Still, still hurting here. Still looking for, uh, still looking for a white source. Holy cow. Two, I can get two angels. Or I can bounce two creatures. We're dead here if we don't bounce. So let's just bounce, bounce, bounce. All right. You and probably you. All right. And then we bounce the Clarion Spirit after they cast their first spell. Um, that way they don't get the Spirit. Because if I bounce their Clarion Spirit to their hand now, or like pre, you know, my last turn, before their turn, they're just going to replay the Clarion Spirit like so to get a uh, Spirit Trigger off of it. So I'm going to bounce it. That. Feel the ruin. 
I mean, Field of Ruin does get us our white source, right? I guess I have to keep that on top. And it blows up their cave, so... We might be okay now. We'll see. I mean... What's okay, really? We had to give up so much card value just to get our land, like... It's not even funny. So much value given up there on that play, man. Just to get just to get our lands. I can't stand when the arena does that to us, man. But at least we got there. It took a while, but at least we got there. And the angels will definitely help us get some defenses put up here, which is nice. Two and then one more one more land means another angel. So a land isn't necessarily a bad thing. Okay. Put the angels down. Start dealing some damage here. We would like something off of the top that I can hit with my faithful mending. Cathar is really annoying. Cathar might be the most annoying thing I've seen. Happy to make these blocks though if they want to come in and swing. That would make my day. Jeez. All right, two life gained. You and you can go. All right. Just had to gain some life there. Back to eight. Oh goodness gracious! Another Cathar, just to, just to really grind home. What it is that's happening to me here today? Oh, a Doom Scar would be the bee's knees. Okay. We're kind of talking now. Three, four, kind of, but not really. Two, four, six. I'm dead here if I don't take the revelry, huh? Super yikes. Okay, well, there goes our Leer. We really needed that. There's a Doom Scar, though. Can't be too upset about that. We're hanging in there. I mean, we're hanging in there. <laughs> All right, so they're gonna. They really should have pumped with the adversary there. That was uh, quite the mistake, I think, on their part. I think we might have come back. I think. I think we're back in this game somehow, some way. I think we pulled it out. Holy cow! Unbelievable. It only took forever, but we got there. All right, let's go ahead and pop one of these again. All right, nice. Now we're really talking. Now we're really, really talking. Okay. No attacks. And here comes the value train, baby. We're talking about Splendid or Splendor, sorry. C uh, Sigardus Splendor. Such a fantastic, fantastic card. Because now we're going to draw a lot of cards here, which is really what we needed. We needed a lot more cards in hand. Obviously, I know we went through a whole lot of cards, but not the way we would have liked. <laughs> Alright, let's get the birds down. And draw some more cards. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Absolutely b -b beautiful. All right, and we get our leer. Okay, game on, ladies and gentlemen. Game on. Game on. We're about to get every single card in our deck back into our hand in one turn here. Excuse me. All right. And I'm pretty sure we might see a scoop here on this card. <laughs> we might see a scoop, but nope. There it is. All right. <laughs> G G's. Holy cow. Talk about one of the rockiest starts ever 
to somehow come back and win a game. Wow. Good freaking game. Oh man, you get that you get that splendor down. That thing is is incredible. The the card engine value there, just drawing you cards left and right is just too too good, man. Alright, opponent gets to go first. I have a much better starting hand than I did last game, so let's hope we can get there. We have Sunset Revelry, so if it's an aggro matchup, we're okay. We've also got the villain's layer for counter magic later. Looks like it is going to be an aggro list. So Sunset Revelry going to help out a lot. And uh, probably going to Jawari disrupt a few things here too. They had no turn two play, which is very unlike mono green. That's pretty much half their deck is turn two plays. So it's going to be old girl troll. Ah, where, where was that last turn? They must have literally just top decked that, which is crazy. So it avoids our Jawari disruption. Pretty crazy. I think we throw away counter magic here, obviously. We have Jawaris, which could help. So counter. Did we throw away the counter magic? I think Starnheim can go. And Faithful Mending? Yeah, let's do that. Because we can counter... No, not next turn. Alright, let's do it like that. Say go. We're going to need that double blue for the villain's lair. Because eventually we're going to need to cast that counter spell on something. Um, in the meantime, we have Jawari Disruption for things like, you know, a Seekus Chariot. <laughs> Gonna take a shot here from the werewolf, which is perfect because it'll put us at 19, which is gonna allow us to gain the four life off of the sunset revelry. So that's nice. But then we're down to two. What do I do here? Am I scared of their next play? Probably, right? Could it? It could be a um, a ren and seven. So holding counter magic could be priority here. Yikes. I don't like this next turn at all. <laughs> Not at all. Are they going to activate their layer of Hydra for f Okay, they are for three. Interesting. Don't want them drawing a card. I think that's what they're trying to do here. I think they're trying to draw a card. So let's go ahead and take away that option for them. And that can definitely go. And let's gain some life. Nice. Some Doom Scars. Those feel pretty good. Alright, so get out the Splendor this turn. And then just like, get ready to Doom Scar some stuff. Seems pretty good to me. Seems pretty good to me. We're not going to draw an extra card this turn unless they play some stuff. If they activate the layer of Hydra, they can attack and keep me off of drawing some cards here, which is definitely a chance. I mean, they did just play the layer of Hydra, but looks like they're going for the werewolf. Okay, perfect. That's really good for us because now we get an extra card. We didn't take any damage. We get the extra card. And things are about to get really bad for our friend here. I really wish I had two mana left over. But we don't, so do it. It's the only play we got, so blowing up the board. See you later. No extra abilities from our friend here. Uh, no snakes can veils, no blizzard, nothing they can do. They were tapped out. No trickery from our opponent. Uh, that's kind of annoying, I can't lie. Oh, they crew right away and get the four damage in. Very nice. <laughs> Well, they just refueled their board pretty quickly there. Fading hope. Not a bad pull. Not a bad pull. I think we go Leer though. I think it's time for the old Leer to come down and do what it's got to do. Uh, they are going to draw a card probably here. Um, we have... A fading hope to pop on one of these creatures. Hopefully not my own. Hopefully they try to blizzard brawl and I could I could pop it on like their old growth troll as they try to fight. That way they lose some value there. 
Okay, that's annoying. That's extremely annoying, actually. That's gonna be a lot of damage. They don't activate their Asika Chariot, though. Thank goodness. All right, we're taking six. They could have Snakeskin Veil. I think I have to cast this now, just in case they do have Snakeskin Veil, because if they do have Snakeskin Veil, we are gonna be... You don't have to block eight. Hey. We would be down the Oh well, no, Snakeskin Veil puts them at lethal. Okay. I forgot it gives them the plus one one counter. So yeah, you definitely want to pop this prior. Asika's Chariot's not gonna get the buff, so that's fine. Asika's Chariot didn't get the buff because it wasn't a creature until that moment. Alright, this is a good card. Yeah, that's a good card. <clears throat> Ugh, so annoying though. I can't lie. Very, very annoying. Uh, no blocks. Jaspira Sentinel. Alright, we're definitely not getting an extra card this turn. <laughs> Um, Sunset Rebel regains us a lot of life. We get some bodies to block with. All we would have to worry about from that point on is the Trampler. So I think that's probably going to be the play. Because we don't care about anything if we're chump blocking for cheap, you know? So let's go ahead and get some cheap little chump blockers out there. Let's hold the Fading Hope. Hmm, seems fine. Can I play? I can't play the land side of that. Interesting. All right. Um, think, 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 think. And... I think we save this. I think we save this. All right. Sounds good. Say go. Say go. Pass the turn. Let's get some extra cards. Um, we're going to bounce the old girl troll. Actually, the old girl troll won't be able to attack this turn. So they'll probably just use it to crew the Asika's chariot. Uh, we chump block everything. We send back the pack leader because it draws a card. And then we end our turn by playing a faithful mending. That seems pretty good. Seems pretty good because the mending will be able to obviously, you know, throw away some spells. Those spells obviously will fill up our uh, flashback spot. All right, they wait for this to go off again. We pop this again. I guess we should have probably waited until they actually declared attackers here. Oh, that was a mistake. We should have waited until they declared their attackers here because then uh, Asika's Chariot would have been unable to come down to actually attack here uh, using the pack leader's, you know, power. But now they can actually use the pack leader here to bring down the Asika's Chariot. It doesn't matter. It could have done it either way, but... Interesting. Well, the Faithful Mending goes back to her and... Shoot. That's actually not good. That's not good. I can't counter. Okay. Well, that's uh that was unexpected. I I didn't even think about the Sentinel using um, uh, you know, their ability there to give that snakeskin veil. Oof, that's tough. All right, fair enough. We're not dead. We're not dead yet. Discard two. Let's discard um, this because I want to play these twice. Let's discard this and I guess the inscription. No, the inscription is pretty solid too. Let's just throw the mending out. All right, mending can go out. Um, what do we want to do? What do we want to do, guys? Um, I think just pass the turn. 
Ah, we draw another Leer. That's tempting to blow up the board. Um, wh where's our lands though? Like, how, how does the game keep doing this to us? Where the heck are our lands? Like, there's a way out of this. There's definitely a way out of this. I just, I don't see it yet, but it's definitely there. Um, do I just hold? I think I do this. Man. This is annoying because we just can't find our mana. Like, where is it? Ah, uh, what a tough game, dude. What a tough game. I think we throw out some more chumpers. We get some more life gain. There's just no easy, there's no easy answer here. Uh, I suppose this and then hold our fading hope. More land, finally. And say go. All right. Hope for the best here. Hope, hopefully we don't get got by a uh, snakeskin veil. Hopefully. That would be extremely annoying if that's the case. All right, we have an we have a tough cho uh, decision and choice to make though. Oh my goodness. Well, if the decision's not that tough anymore, I was gonna say which one to bounce, but now we definitely have to bounce the old girl troll because we can't afford to take the trample damage, especially when it's gonna get doubled twice. <laughs> Let these go off so they seek his chariot. You know, doesn't get whatever. They're gonna get the card draw regardless of the pack leader, so we allow the attack to occur first. So that way, our friend here doesn't get us with uh the seek his chariot. They left mana open though, which tells me it's probably a snakeskin veil. No, they crew the chariot for whatever reason, even though they've already declared their attackers. Okay, we're good. We're good, baby. Let's go. All right, more land. That's what I need. Yes, please. I have plenty of spells. I just need the land now. Mono green. Giving me fits right now, man. Giving me absolute fits right now. These are so annoying. So, so annoying. All right. Well, we finally get some land and we get a really good card in the All Runs Epiphany off the top. Is that our first All Runs Epiphany? Um, I think so. Let me just double check. I think that's our first one. Okay. So we still have two more to go. Not bad. Not bad. All right. I think we cast it here and then we draw, you know, double the cards. I think that's fine. I think that's a okay. The real concern becomes obviously there's an 8-8 in front of me. I can't attack, which is really silly. No attacks. All right. Drawing to divide by zero. Strong. Very strong card here. Blue is really the most important card we need. Three, four, five, six. Okay. So how about we do an inscription for the full shebang here. We got plenty of blockers. Uh, nothing with trample coming down and being able to attack us right away because we're going to bounce anything that has the potential of trample, which is you. All right. So those are gone. Field of Ruin isn't bad because it can blow up that Hydra, which could be an issue down the road. Uh, we're definitely not blocking with Leer, so might as well get that Leer in for an attack now, huh? Get that three damage through. Say go. Looking for another All Runs Epiphany here, man. These games are so long. Holy cow. I love this list, though, man. It's so much fun. It really makes you think and makes you have to, like, play a little slower. I like it. It's good. I think we're okay for this turn at least though because they're gonna they're not gonna be able to throw anything hasty down with trample because frog moth is just not something frog hemoth is not something people have been playing obviously that card would destroy us so bad right now so i want to knock on wood here but all 
All right, old girl troll, sure. They're tapped out except for their sentinel can obviously create more mana for them, uh, especially if they bring the Asika's chariot down. This says whenever a creature you control with power equal to its toughness attacks, it gains trample. Oh, that's a problem. That creates trample on everything. That creates trample on everything. Five, six, seven, eight. I take eight. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay. That's not good. <laughs> oh my goodness. What in the world just happened to us? What in the world just happened to us? We were on top of the world. We were on top of the actual world. Oh no. If I blow up the board, yikes, yikes. Okay. 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 So how unfortunate was that play? Huh? All right, we go here, gain some life, get some creatures down. What if I slam this? That's one, two, three, four. That leaves me with one, two, three, four. Okay, so we don't do that because we're going to want to double. We're going to want to double divide here. So if I play this, one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, so I can play this again. But then I don't get the creatures. I think we just hold. Hold. Because we can fateful we can fateful mending. Oh, this is so this is so annoying. What are the odds of them playing the mastery or uh, the master symmetrist, man? I yikes. Giving everything trample. How annoying. I guess it makes sense to run with this or oh, uh, you know, overgrowth or whatever the heck. Makes sense. All right. What are we going to get, though, with our divide? That's going to be a pretty big question for us here, huh? What do we grab? I don't know. I don't really know. So we bounce anything with trample, obviously, and they're not going to be able to replay them this turn. So you go for sure. You are the biggest problem here. That's gone. Beautiful. Okay. So now we go for mascot exhibition, probably just because it can get us blockers for the front lines and then we get something that can exile these right so let's go ahead and get the um reduced to memory all right here we go let the attacks commence get a couple chumps here still have a divide by zero to use as well What an intense little game we got ourselves into here, huh? Not attacking with the Sentinel. Interesting choice. Could have got one more chump out of me, but it is what it is. I guess they have the... Okay, never mind. Let's go ahead and gain some more life here. Life gain really, <laughs> really keeping us on track here. All right, so we can drop one land. I guess the Leer, because it's not... I don't think we're going to be playing another Leer here. Excuse me. Alright, we got ourselves another Pickle here. Uh, divide, obviously, the Master... I think we go here... Gotta take care of those, right? Gotta take care of those. Those are the biggest problem we're having right now is those existing. <laughs> it's 
So if I play the mascot, pretty tapped out. If I play this, it'll give me some blockers. It'll give me some of the same effect as the mascot, right? We're just looking for chump blockers. And then we'll hold the divide up, which gives us three additional mana here to use. What do we want to use? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. We can get another four life here and some more blockers. I think that's fine. I think that's fine. We're just looking for All Runs Epiphany at this point. Um, All Runs Epiphany back to back should be pretty good for us to do some damage. Um, Divide's going to be really nice, like I said here, because we can pop back the uh, Master. Yes, we can pop that back to their hand. We can reduce the memory of their other growth so they can stop getting these ridiculous buffs. We're at the point, too, where we can divide our own Leer back to our hand and blow the board up. And then we're going to be in amazing shape. Got to be careful, though, man. One, one misstep, one misclick, this whole game is over. So got to be very, very careful. So they've, they've given themselves no ability to gain trample here. Uh, they think the master is going to be good. But unfortunately for them, it's not going to be. Let's wait till they go to their attack step here. All right, attack step achieved. We'll be seeing you. 24 cards left in my deck. Not decking out yet. And what do we want to grab? Um, I actually think I'm going to go ahead and do one of these. Okay, we cycle out a card or land for a land. It is what it is. Seek his chariot copying more tokens. You gotta love it. Here comes the buffs too. So they're drawing a card off of the werewolf pack leader. Kind of annoying. We get to chump all this though, so chump, chump, chump. You love to see it. Didn't miss any, right? Nope. Okay, good. Didn't miss any. Let's go get those out of here. Bang, bang, bang. We're at 20 life total. We're right back into this game. Uh, we have a way to deal with their final growth. Doom Scar, you love it. You love, love, love to see it. All right. Here's what we're going to do, though. We are going to reduce the memory. Okay. That thing is gone. And we divide our own Leer back to our hand and blow up the board. Seems pretty awesome to me. All right, so what we're going to do for this play is we're going to put on full control. Wait, do we have a divide? Did I? Oh, I played my divide. I played my divide. What am I doing? Why did I think I had divide in my hand? Oh, no. That's fine. Um, Okay, well that changes things. Unfortunately, I was going to put on full control here and go for the Doom Scar, and then as it res resolved, I was going to pull back my Leer, but looks like that's not going to be how this is going to go down. So, let's go here. Let's get some creatures. A little bit of life gain. And let's go here. And now they're really going to have to really consider whether or not they want to actually make some attacks now because things aren't going to get these crazy, crazy buffs that they've normally been getting. So they're going to have to make some trades here. Uh, you know, we got a 4-4 Elemental out here now. And, uh, you know, things to consider when attacking. They can't just get as reckless and careless as they were, were before. Um, that's, yeah, that's going to give everything, uh, well, things that are, you know, even like these. Trample. Ooh. Okay, that's not good. Well, at least I'm less I'm less scared now to use my Doom Scar. <laughs> so we just gotta get through this turn here and then we'll Doom Scar the board. Yikes. I why did I think I had my divide? I, I thought for sure I had my divide. That was silly. I don't know why they are doing the things that they're doing. They're taking away potential attackers here. They could have used this to, you know, bring down the Asika's Chariot and whatnot. I mean, I'm happy they're doing that, but it is what it is. 
All right, see what gets trampled here. All right, we got to think about this a little bit here. Let's go with trade. Tra oh, no, 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 no. What did I do? Trade. Kill you. Kill you. It's a 5-5. Five, five. All right, we're doom scarring the board, so put these in front of here. So I guess if we're doom scarring the board, it's really about saving ourselves the most amount of damage, right? And I think that's the way to do it. All right. Doom scars coming in hot. <clears throat> Gonna ruin their day. They're down to, you know, whatever's in their hand, which is a lot of cards, but at least we start fresh a little bit here. <clears throat> at least we start a little fresh here. All right, I think we're safe to play a second Splendor here. Let's get through the rest of our deck extremely quick. And then let's just put a, a nail in the coffin here and end this game. Let's just end this game quickly and concisely here. Blow everything up. See you later. And the inscription of insight is interesting, but I think, I think we got to take, unfortunately, an unnecessary hit from a Seekus Chariot. Seekus Chariot, really annoying. Just something that's out there lingering that they can activate at any point in this game. Two trolls, all right. How many Doom Scars have we gone through? One, two. Just two. All right, so we still got two more Doom Scars in the deck. And still two more all runs epiphanies. We got some of our better cards really in our deck still. So might be all right, man. We got this. We've got this um Hall of the Storm Giants out there too. So something to also consider. Seek his chariot's gonna come down, sure, sure. Let them do their thing. Uh, we're going to take seven. Yikes. Okay. I wanted to see how they were going to distribute those coins before I blew up their land, but they knew it was coming. So it wasn't like a big surprise to them. Thin our deck out a little bit here. This is going to be the whole video. This one game is going to be the whole video. Holy, holy cow. draw a card which feels good we gain a lot of life all runs epiphany i would say that's a pretty solid card do we play it now though or seems like kind of a waste if i'm being honest i think we just go for the kick around this bad boy i think we go for the kicker here foretell this um, we got some chumps now for the Asika's Chariot, so we're going to draw multiple cards next turn. We're going to draw a, a handful here of cards. Um, Fading Hope, kind of cool. I mean, these both are pretty good because counters are now going to be all right. Yeah, I think that's fine. Especially if we can Fading Hope the Asika's Chariot back to their hand and then counter it. That'd be pretty nice, but... I don't know if we're going to do that this turn. I think maybe countering the old girl trolls just fine. Okay. I can't fading hope their other old girl troll here because if I fading hope their troll then they're just gonna crew their Asika's Chariot and the damage is kind of done. So, maybe, I think we can win here actually. So if the opponent here uses the old girl troll to tap and bring in their Asika's Chariot to attack, then we can bounce their werewolf pack leader back to their hand and uh, 
now the lane is cleared and we can all run the epiphany and potentially get in some big big damage here so the question becomes do we take seven to dish out an additional you know a couple of points probably not we probably want to chump block this so let's go ahead and chump block Let's hope that this is just not a snakeskin veal. That could be pretty annoying. That could be extremely annoying, actually. All right, cool. It's not. All right, we don't need more land. That's for sure. We draw a lot of cards here. Beautiful. Some good cards at that. Oh, some really good cards. You'd love to see it. Two, four, six. Yes, sir. Pretty sure that's a wrap, my friend. <laughs> pretty sure that's a wrap ba bam let's go baby <laughs> what a game what a game my friend holy cow the game of the century we wrap it up with the dub though <laughs> 30 minute game <laughs> holy cow i hope you guys enjoyed that and uh i think that's gonna do it for today's video <laughs> let's go ahead and end it with some final thoughts peace all right that's gonna do it for today's video guys i hope you enjoyed i had more fun i think with this list than i've had in a very long time i was really really excited to get home from work today because i was thinking about it while i was at work doing my thing grinding out there outside and just being like man i really really want to make this uh you know splendor card really good and i really want i want to do it differently I, you know me i like to try to do things slightly different than everybody else i don't like to try to just go down the same path as everybody with certain cards i like to try to think outside the box with them um it doesn't always turn out to be the most meta thing but um i try to do the most fun thing and i think that the splendor really adds a lot of value to this you know control shell and uh i think it's got a pretty cool place here um it is hard sometimes to play an enchantment especially when you're a leer deck because you never want to get rid of these and you never get them back um it just doesn't really synergize super well with the leer in that sense but everything else in the deck completely synergizes well with the leer so it's not a big loss if you have to throw away one or two splendors as long as you have one on the field and you're gaining that value i'm also a little worried that with this list um we might self mill ourselves in some of these games coming up i i haven't yet but i think it could be a possibility but hopefully we'd be able to get them dead before that happens but something to maybe um you know help with that i i, I kind of thought about this later and i'm like this might actually help but um, we, there's a counter spell that if you actually counter, it's called a devious cover up. If you counter a spell, you actually get to put some of your cards from your graveyard back into your hand, but this doesn't synergize very well with the Leer either because you can't counter things when Leer's on the battlefield. Um, so it's, it's kind of a give and take on what it is you're trying to do. I think this particular counter spell works a little better with us because if Leer's on the battlefield, we can still use it to cycle cards if we need to. Um, but it doesn't obviously help with us maybe potentially self milling ourselves. Um, there's a lot of things going on there with that. Uh, you gotta be careful with, but I think we're okay. I don't think there's too much to worry about with self mill. Uh, we didn't really get too close to doing that in any of our games. Obviously the second game pretty close, but uh, we were fine. We got the, we got the job done. We have two epiphanies still waiting on us there in the, in the list. So we weren't in any threat of milling ourselves, but just something to consider when you're looking at the, when you're looking at the deck and, thinking about things you might change but as far as changing anything else to the list or having any other ideas for it i'm all fresh out i, I like where it's at right now i think i'm going to continue playing it the way it is i really enjoy it i think uh i think it's pretty pretty darn good to be honest and it and it's playing pretty well so um if you have any thoughts as always though leave them in the comments down below comments always help out the algorithm as well i'm pushing our videos out to more people so definitely comment let me know what you think um <clears throat> before i go though uh speaking of algorithm and whatnot you guys made it to the end of the video and you can hear my voice right now which means you guys stayed to the end and i appreciate that so so much it means the world to me because it does help as well with the watch time algorithm yada yada pushes the videos out to more people and we have been absolutely on this uprise of the last couple of videos and uh you guys are to thank so thank you so much for watching the videos all the way through i really really appreciate that a lot and as always, before we go, it sounds like my voice is actually starting to go out again. Holy cow. Before we go, huge, huge shout out to the Marty Mob. If you guys don't already know, the Marty Mob is a membership program here on the channel. That's these fine people decided to join. 
and help support the channel financially and i can't thank them enough for what they do and all the support they give me here on the channel if you guys want to become part of the marty mob you can hit that little join button down below as well as the link in the description if you don't see the join button and uh, you can become part of the marty mob today and be become you know part of the group and uh you also get some unlocks to some really cool content so um i'd really appreciate that and uh that's gonna do it for today's video i hope to see you guys tonight on the live stream so hope to see you guys there we'll be live tonight at six o'clock uh is it mountain standard time i'm not even sure arizona's time we don't do daylight saving so <laughs> i never know but anyways that's gonna do it for today's video guys till next time yeah, yeah. peace Hit up three times like a hat trick. Yeah. The name is says you know Patrick. Yeah, yeah. If you play him, then it's tragic. Hit him with the mythic, yeah, that's magic. Yeah. FTG, that's what you'll see if you like and subscribe. Where's the upload, man? Uh, man, all of the time. Coming with the best expert to the meta. This ain't cheap.